All American Boys by Jason Reynolds and Brendan Keeley. Rashad is a black teen who stops by the market after school one afternoon for a bag of chips and a drink. A white woman stumbles over his bag and Rashad offers to help pick her up. But the snacks land on the bag and the store owner thinks Rashad is trying to steal the snacks. A white cop drags Rashad outside, handcuffed and in pain, face down on the sidewalk. The cop thinks Rashad is resisting and beats him mercilessly. Quinn, a white student in Rashad's school, witnesses the beating but is torn about whether to say anything because the white cop is a father figure in Quinn's life. Authors Jason Reynolds and Brendan Keeley alternate chapters with Reynolds writing Rashad's story and Keeley writing Quinn's. From this, we see the story from the black and the white perspective, as well as the struggles <clears throat> that each character faces within their own world. Rashad's father, a former cop, blames his son outright while his mother doubts the story about her son stealing snacks. Quinn's family has no doubts whatsoever about the officer's story, but Quinn doesn't feel comfortable correcting them about what he witnessed. Then a cell phone video of the incident emerges, as well as the social media anthem Rashad was absent again today. Rashad's case becomes a rallying cry for protests around the city as he remains hospitalized after the beating. Students will relate to this all too familiar story after similar incidents in the news. And while well-intentioned, the narrative feels a little bit preachy in its message at times. For a similar read, check out Angie Thomas's The Hate You Give.